Hello there, welcome back to my channel, Juella. So, today is Beauty Box Day, and I've got a trio of Beauty Box to share with you. I won't do it all in one video because obviously that would be ridiculous, it would be over an hour long. So, it will be three separate videos, but I'm just letting you know I've got three to show you today. Now, before I get started, the weather outside is lush today. It's so warm, it's so sunny, it's so nice. So I really hope everybody's making the most of it if you've got the sunshine in the UK and just enjoying it, which is what I should be doing right now. <laughs> I've actually just been outside and I've just came in to do these boxes. I've had them for the last couple of days and I've been meaning to do them, but just one thing and another's got in the way and I haven't had the chance. So I thought, you know what? Set aside an hour today and get them done. So that's my plan of action for the day. A conveyor belt of beauty boxes. So the first one I'm going to share with you is the Look Fantastic Beauty Box. And the box this month is beautiful. It's lovely. The theme this month is Eco Month. And that's reflected in the design of the box. Because it's made out of like a craft paper. Which I can feel the difference. I can tell. Now the outer boxes here for the Look Fantastic box since January 2020 have been recyclable but this month it's just like a an eco paper style one which I really do love. So inside the box as usual you get your little quote be kind to the planet and it will be kind to you. It's always nice to just read them you know it's just that little added extra. This box will cost you £15 a month if you just want to go month to month or if you want to tie yourself into a 12 month contract it's £13 a month with free postage, which is really, really good. I love getting my monthly box and seeing what treats I get. It's just a nice little bit of me time, a bit of pamper time, and it's a really good idea to try before you buy full-size products. Anyway, inside you get your little booklet telling you about the products, a couple of little articles to read, and a little sneak peek for next month. Now, I'm going to quickly share the sneak peek with you because I usually forget. Next month's sneak peek is an Elemis product. Who doesn't love Elemis? Like, not many people. So this is an Elemis Superfood Glow Priming Moisturiser. Now, it's only a travel size and it's worth £22. But I'm really looking forward to trying it. I do like the brand Elemis, but I've never tried that particular product. So I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what it's like. But let's get back to this month's box and I'll show you what I've got inside. Excuse the rattling of the paper. You know that it can be quite noisy. That's the box this month. To be honest, I've already been through this a couple of times. I've tried one or two of the products. And it's not a wowzer box, but it's a very useful, everyday, essential type box. But there's nothing in it that particularly wowzers. But it's, it's a decent box. It's okay. So, the first product is by Dr. Lip, and this is a lip pigment kind of tint type stuff. So, basically, it's like a slightly tinted lip balm for your lips, but it's also like a multi purpose balm. So, you can use it for a little bit of a flush of colour on your cheeks if you want. If you're just going for quite a natural, glowy look, you can even use it on your eyelids. Not that I would hugely recommend that, but you can. And you can use it on your cuticles if you're going to give yourself a little manicure. But I would basically say pop it on your lips. So this is a lip tint with radish pigment. So it's slightly red coloured, but once you put it onto your hand, obviously it looks red. But once you rub it in, it pretty much goes completely sheer. Like I can't see any colour at all in that. Scent wise, it's unfragranced, which a lot of people do like. But me personally, when I use any products on my lips and on my face in general, even on my body, I like scented stuff. I like things that smell nice. So this isn't a product that I would probably go out of my way to purchase. However, having said that, for the last couple of days that I've had this, I have used it on my lips. And it does make your lips feel really lovely and soft. It doesn't particularly tint my lips much because my lips must be a similar colour to this. But yeah, um, it's a nice product. Productivity wise, like I say, it is good, but I'm not keen on the smell. It's got a very subtle vegetable smell, obviously because it's a, a radish pigment, but I'm just, yeah, I don't think I would go out my way to buy it, put it that way. But it's, a, it's an okay product to get, especially if you don't like things that are scented. So yeah, that's the first product. Second product is by S-Bar. This product should have been in last month's box, but I believe they had a hold up with the delivery of it. So this is a 24 hour replenishing eye cream. 
eye creams we're getting absolutely abundance of them within these beauty boxes but when you come across a good one you can't complain girls you really really can't i like a nice eye cream and it's nice for me getting so many of them lately kind of experimenting with them to see which ones actually do work a little bit and do help however let's face it if you've got wrinkles around your eyes they're not going to get rid of the wrinkles but they will help kind of hopefully prevent and keep at bay any future crow's feet and wrinkles coming up although they will still happen but at the end of the day the prevention is always better than the cure anyway moving on <laughs> so the smell of this is lovely it's just a small little tube it's only seven mils but it smells so nice it's really herbal i do like the Espar products i really really do so i was happy enough to get that product to be honest even though it's another eye cream like i say we do get a lot of them i do like that one obviously i can't comment on the productivity because i haven't used it on my eyes but i can say that it smells nice and i do like the brand so my favourite product of the box next is The Rituals. I love, 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 love The Rituals products. I have got a bathroom full of them. Seriously, I honestly have. And one of my drawers here is full of the creams as well. So this is a shower scrub and it's The Ritual of Jing. The Ritual of Jing is Sacred Lotus and Jujube, which I absolutely love. It is one of my favourite scents. If the rituals bring this out as a perfume i will absolutely be buying it do i need any more perfume hell no but if they bring this out i would definitely buy it so this size wise is 70 mils it's quite a good size and it's a mild body scrub so when you're in the shower or the bath just you know give your body a bit of a nice exfoliate with it scrub a dub dub and bob's your uncle <laughs> but you can also use it on your hands for like a hand scrub like a hand exfoliator I'm just using it on my hands now so I can have a little sniff because I love the smell. But yeah, you can feel the little kind of sandy grains in it. Oh, that smells so nice. It's a nice kind of light, floral, fresh herbal type smell. I love that smell. Slightly sweet as well. It's just my type of scent. It really, really is. And it also contains shea butter and coconut oil, which will help hydrate and moisturise your skin once you're out the shower <laughs> so yeah really looking forward to using that because oh, I just love the rituals that is honestly one of my favorite brands when I'm in the shower that and Morton Brown I just love those two brands so the next product this had me a little bit puzzled this is by so eco and it says gentle facial buffer however in the booklet which I'm just going to refer to now this is what had me puzzled Dampen with warm water and squeeze your favourite body wash onto the pad. Gently rub all over your body in circular motions before rinsing with warm water. Facial pad, body pad, like it, the write up, the you know, the how to use is definitely referring to a, a body scrubber. But if this says facial buffer, so I'm a little bit kind of confused by that, a bit puzzled. However, multi use pr product you could use it on your face or your body. But I would personally use that on my face because it does feel quite nice. It's not too abrasive. So if you dampen your skin on your face, get one of your favourite kind of exfoliating milky cleansers or gel cleanser or cream cleanser, any kind of cleanser or face wash. Pop a little bit on the pad once you've dampened the pad and then light circular motions into your skin. Rinse it off with warm water and follow up with your usual skincare regime. I think that would be really nice. I do have a couple of facial buffers and I've got body buffers as well and I do use them but for me it's about remembering to use them I'm so so bad at remembering these things I just tend to stick with like micellar waters which I really need to start using more of these things to exfoliate my skin I do exfoliate my skin but I need to do it a little bit more often I think anyway so yeah this is a gentle facial buffer which you can obviously use on your body or your face so multi-purpose multi-use <laughs> I'm not going to complain, it's multi-use, but it's a bit confusing in the booklet. Let me know if your booklet says this, if you've got that, because, yeah, I'm a little bit puzzled by that. So, next product, Philip Kingsley. This does its rounds in the beauty boxes all the time. The brand, not the product, but the brand. I don't mind the, the brand, Philip Kingsley, but sometimes I get a little bit bored of saying it. However, I like this product. This is the Finishing Touch Polishing Serum. It's 20 mil, so it's a good little size because you only need a small pea-sized amount. Basically, once your hair is washed and it's still damp, 
put a little small amount on your fingertips, run it through the mid lengths and ends of your hair and dry and style your hair as usual. And yeah, it smooths the hair cuticle down, helps tame any frizz and flyaways and also adds a little bit of like glossy sheen to your hair. I've used this before, I have had this exact same product and I like it, I honestly do like it, it's really not bad and I'm happy enough with it. It smells nice, it's a nice product, I know it's good productivity wise. So even though it's Philip Kingsley, which like I say, I'm a bit bored of seeing the brand, I do like that individual product. The final product, again, is a brand that really does its rounds in the beauty boxes, particularly the Look Fantastic box. This is Balance Me, and it's a pre and probiotic cleansing milk. Now it's just a really small one, it's 30 mils, but that's a really good size if you're going on holiday and you just need a little kind of cleansing milk face wash type thing to take with you. I would personally use this more so as a face wash than anything else. And yeah, smell wise, for me, a lot of the Balance Me products pretty much smell the same. That smells very much like lemon balm, like creamy lemon cheesecake which sounds good enough to eat, right? <laughs> but yeah, it smells nice. It's just like a creamy kind of milky cleanser. It's exactly what it is. So again, you use it on damp skin, kind of circular motions, like a face wash almost. You could even use it on the facial buffer and buff your skin with it and rinse it off. But yeah, I've had a very similar product before from Balance Me. I thought it was okay, but mm, nothing to write home about, but I thought it was okay, but I wouldn't have repurchased it. But this one also removes eye makeup, remo eye makeup, so it's, it works as an eye makeup remover as well. So not bad, kind of multi-use, I suppose. And that is everything. That is absolutely everything in this Look Fantastic box. So I'm going to quickly recap the products with you, wrap this video up, and then get on with the next one because I've got more to do. <laughs> so we've got the Balance May Pre and Probiotic Milk Cleanser, the Philip Kingsley Polishing Serum, the Gentle Facial Buffer by So Eco, which is a bit confusing because it says to use it on your body. <laughs> the Rituals Ritual of Jing Body Scrub. We've got the Espar Replenishing Eye Moisturiser. And the Dr. Lip, Dr. Lip, I was going to get, I thought I was going to get that wrong there. The Dr. Lip Tint, which is the radish pigment for the lips. Yeah, it's an okay box. Um, just going to quickly show you again the products. It's an okay box, but it's definitely nothing kind of wow. There's nothing in there that makes me be like, oh my God, wow, I've got to have that box. Yes, the Rituals of Jing product's really, really nice. I think I would have personally liked to have seen the body cream in with the body scrub or the shower, or the shower foam or something. But is that just me being greedy? Probably is. You can't expect everything for £13. <laughs> so I've got to remind myself of that. But no, um, it's just not a wow box, but I definitely... I think it's a very useful box. Out of all those products, I'll probably use most of them. The only one that I'm not too sure about is the Balance Me Cleansing Milk because I do have my own rituals with what I like to do with my own skin, like my skincare regime. And I don't really tend to use things like that too much. That's more like a face wash to me. And I don't really like face wash. So yeah, the Dr. Lip Tint for the lips. I just wish it smelled nice. I wish it had a nice kind of fruity smell. And then that box will be quite perfect. But yeah, not a high value box, but it's not always about the value of the box. It's about what you're going to use. It really, really is. And I am going to use most of those products. So I should really not grumble. My overall opinion of this box is I can't grumble. £13, I'm going to use most of the stuff. So I really can't grumble. Anyway, if you got this month's Look Fantastic box, whack down in the comments what you thought of it, what you think of the products, if you think it's decent or if you think it's a little bit pants. And if you haven't got the box, does this entice you to sign up at all? Is there anything you would like to try within the box? And yeah, just let us know your thoughts in the comments. It's always nice to have a little bit of a chit chat and an interaction with you about it all. Anyway, I'm going to crack on with the next box, girls, because I want to get back out in that sunshine and enjoy it while it's there. <laughs> I hope everyone else is having a lovely weekend and I'll see you all again soon. Take care. Bye bye.